we talked about polar covalent bonds in the previous chapter. So I just want to review them because we're going to be dealing with um, polar bonds in this chapter on acids and bases as well. So the definition is a bond where electrons are unequally shared between two atoms. And what that means is one of the atoms has a stronger attraction toward the electrons and pull the electrons towards itself. So for example, if you have this molecule here and we're looking at the bond between the carbon and the chlorine, the chlorine's pulling those electrons towards it. It's taking on partial negative character. The carbon has partial positive character. The electrons are still shared between the atoms, but the chlorine is pulling them closer to itself. So the electrons are pulled toward the more electronegative atom. I do want to make an important distinction between ionic and covalent compounds and what we can do with them. So for example, if you're given NaOCH3, that's an ionic compound between the sodium and oxygen, a metal and a non-metal. And it's totally fine to break that into ions and write this as sodium plus OCH3 minus. We're going to do that quite a bit. But if you have a polar covalent bond, you cannot break it like that. So for example, here's ethanol. And it's common for people to want to break this OH bond and write it as H plus and O minus. You can't do that because that's a polar covalent bond that we're not going to break. This isn't a strong acid that's going to dissociate in solution. So don't break that apart. We'll learn ways that we can you know, attack this hydrogen with a particular reagent and break this bond, but just writing this out, you can't break those up into two separate things. Likewise, when it comes to carbon, let's say you have this is an organolithium compound. Because lithium's a metal, carbon's a nonmetal, you can break that and write this as lithium plus CH2, CH3 minus, knowing that that carbon does have a lone pair. But if it's a nonmetal bonded to the carbon, like Cl, you can't break that apart. You have to leave it as it's written.